be waste to energy works by taking in the garbage, keeping it in a bunker for about five days to allow the moisture to sip and then burning it at about a thousand degrees centigrade, turning that into heat energy that is then able to move steam turbines um, that in turn generate electricity. Simultaneously, we're able to capture what would have been pollutant gases and turn them into inert materials and make sure that there is no major pollution from uh, the facility. The impact is five million people are breathing much better air a significant amount of methane that would have gone into the environment is averted. It has real impact that you're able to feel uh, because this is air, toxic air that you have been breathing. facility that is taking this, this much garbage with almost a total of 500 million kilograms of garbage uh, for the whole year. Now you don't have to dump that in new landfills. That is land now that could be used for constructing housing, uh, doing other projects. We have precious land that is now kept out of being a storage for garbage forever. Because once you've used the landfill, even if you cap the landfill, there is land that is no longer valuable and, and usable to the community. So in cities like Lagos and Dakar and Abidjan and Nairobi, you have landfills, open dumping sites that are similar to Repi that are causing a significant amount of damage to the environment, to underground aquifers. And we have added even additional modern technologies that are able to come hand in hand to generating electricity. And these are, for example, projects like insect farming, where we are able to channel the additional amount of food waste that is coming in to be able to capture the food waste, feed in black soldier flies that are that grow, so as soon as they hatch from an egg stage, that grow 10 times their weight within 10 days. And we're able to capture them and turn them into uh, chicken feed and fish feed that farmers are able to use. That reduces the amount of uh, chicken feed that you need to grow um, that has been competing with human food.